Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your Terrascope. Angels, divine spirits, and guides, I invite you now to come in and help me to deliver messages. Oh my goodness, that's not a good start, is it, Scorpio? To the zodiac sign. Okay, Scorpio of Scorpio. What do my Scorpio friends need to know from May 14th to June 14th? Can I have one more card? Angels, please. We'll take that one. All right. Well, that's a nice outcome. <laughs> Overall energy, bottom of the deck. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Let's pull three Kipper cards before we start. Angels, Divine Spirits, and Guides. Can I have three cards for the Zodiac sign of... Scorpio. What do my Scorpio friends need to know from May 14th to June 14th? And we'll take that one. And this one. Change, Thief, and Journey bottom of the deck. I always like to look at it. Message of concern. Okay, Scorpio, before I start, let me just say that this is a general reading for all Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and of course Venus. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but if I am picking up on your energy and you like the video, please click the little thumbs up button below the video. It helps to get it noticed. It helps my channel to grow. If I am not picking up on your energy in this particular reading, because readings go to those who need them, there's a link in the description box below the video where you can get your moon and your rising sign, and you can watch those other two videos, and maybe you will resonate with one of them. If you have subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. It is greatly appreciated. I love doing these readings. I love helping people. And I really appreciate your subscriptions. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love if you would do that. Helps my channel to grow and helps my videos to get noticed. Okay, thank you for watching, Scorpio. Here we go. Okay, Scorpio, the first card that we have is the Ten of Swords, sign of Gemini. That's about betrayal, pain, and sadness. I feel like somebody hurt you. There could have been some hurtful communication here with all these swords, but at least when the Ten of Swords is there, it was painful, it hurt, but now we know what it is and we can start to move on. The next card that we have is the Eight of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy again. And that says you're starting to come out of this difficult time. You're not going to be stuck in this mental madness anymore, not going to think about it anymore. I'm not going to be a victim of what this person did to me. It represents freedom. The next card that we have is the Tower. The sign of Scorpio. Unexpected change. Shocking. It's about collapse and destruction and, and the breaking down of the foundation. There's definitely something changing here, Scorpio. You got a 10, a 10, and a 10 here which tells me that this cycle is over. You got change right next to the tower, which says some kind of dramatic change is coming in. The next card that we have is the Page of Wands in reverse, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So that tells me that whatever this unexpected change is here, you don't want to hear it. It's not good news. The Page of Wands in reverse is a sign of news that you don't want to hear. It also represents gossip. And the High Priestess in reverse is also gossip. So I feel like there's some gossip around you about this betrayal, about this shocking, unexpected change. The next card that we have is the High Priestess in reverse. 
which is about gossip and red flags and someone not following their intuition. They know something doesn't feel right here, but they're not doing anything about it because the Hierophant in reverse tells me the same thing. Someone's not listening, not making a choice. The next card we have is the Two of Swords, Sign of Libra. It's a very painful choice. It's about being at a crossroads, someone who doesn't want to make a decision. They're just kind of like standing there, not doing anything. They know they're not on the right path. They know it doesn't feel right, but they're just not doing anything about it. It represents some confusion and somebody just doesn't know which direction to go. The next card that we have is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So this is about someone who's not grounded, not focused, not centered. Someone could be having financial issues here. This person's not balanced and they just can't go on like this anymore. The next card we have is the Hierophant in reverse, sign of Taurus. Once again, someone not listening to advice, ignoring their spiritual path. It's about someone who's breaking the rules. And the next card we have is the good old Wheel of Fortune. So you know what? The wheel is spinning in your favor. I feel like even though all this happened to you, Scorpio, it was to send you on the right path or send this person on the right path. It's time for a change. But this is fate, destiny, karma. It's a turning point in someone's life. I feel like the universe is here with the tower and the wheel of fortune being in the same reading. And they're forcing you into this new direction. You have change and journey. Someone's leaving. And with this thief card, I feel like somebody stole something from you. I mean, they could have stole anything. They could have stole your lover, could have stole your best friend, a, a position that you were applying for at work. The overall energy bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, and it's just not moving. Someone's stuck here, stuck between a rock and a hard place. Let's pull some clarifiers and see where they're going to go. But I definitely feel like there's some big changes here. And I feel like they're good changes, Scorpio. But this person who betrayed you, I feel like they're leaving. You're finally going to be free from this person, this situation, this energy. We have the devil in reverse, three of wands, queen of pentacles in reverse again, the sun reverse, the emperor. Angels, divine spirits, and guides, what do you have for all my Scorpio friends? What do they need to know about this reading on the table? Show them the messages. Okay, hold on. The hangman in reverse. The eight of wands reversed. Page of swords. Ace of swords justice and you got the eight of swords in reverse again so somebody's about to be free from something and allow them to have this new beginning justice will be done oh and there's your four of wands on the bottom of the deck stability and happiness so there's a lot of freedom here free to, free from the toxic person free from the controlling energy someone's waiting to be free from this betrayal that happened to them. The devil, sign of Capricorn. Someone had an addiction. They're working on being free from it. I like the energy. There needed to be some painful communication with this person to tell them, listen, this just isn't working out. I'm unhappy here because you're drinking, doing drugs, playing video games. I mean, it doesn't matter what it is. The next card that we have is the three of wands. Sign of Aries. Tells me your ships are coming in. Standing there, waiting on the shore, waiting for that ship to arrive, full of all the goodies. The Four of Wands is next. Now, this Queen of Pentacles in reverse is, is representing twice here. Taurus Virgo Capricorn telling me that things are out of balance. Um, she's down here too, right? Yeah. So if you don't have any earth in your chart, this is most likely the person who either stole something from you or did you wrong. 
but it's it's someone who's struggling to be focused on a situation because of all these things that are going on but again you got your news your unexpected something unexpected about her was news you didn't want to hear that made you unhappy the sun card sign of leo in the reverse says you know the sun the sun is not shining upon you at this time you're upset about this message could signify depression the future looks cloudy you don't know if you want to stay in this situation anymore in the center of the reading that's what all this gossip is about and this person not on the right path we have the emperor sign of aries husband boss father energy very powerful could represent the fact that you are taking back your power this could be a significant male in your life but he's the ruler he's the god of all gods he's known to be controlling is this the person you want to be free from is this person your boss the next card we have is the hangman sign of pisces i feel like somebody's growing impatient here it signifies frustration it's a selfish person this queen of pentacles in reverse could be selfish she's only thinking of herself materialistic somebody's impatient waiting for someone else to make a choice here the next card we have is the eight of wands in reverse sign of sagittarius so i feel like you might not even be speaking to this person something's not moving quick enough somebody's just not making a decision i feel like this energy was with you before scorpio this person is still lingering or you're not making the decision to leave them there definitely needs to be a change here and the change is coming the change is coming to bring you your happiness and your stability that you're hoping for there's the hierophant in reverse again the next card that we have is the page of swords more gossip somebody's watching you scorpio this is about a message of truth this is like my spying card someone's doing research for a new beginning the ace of swords is more communication more truth you could actually have a confrontation with this person who stole something from you that you're not even speaking to right now somebody found out something with that high priestess reverse and this page of swords something came to light because it's like oh the truth came out now we can all start a new beginning and you got more truth over here Aquarius Libra Gemini Aquarius Libra Gemini Libra something is not happening quick enough somebody's patiently waiting for this to be over and to be free from this toxic energy they just want something fair they just want the truth what's under here the six of wands reverse more leo no victory no success not moving not moving forward somebody's getting very frustrated and impatient with this i'm tired of waiting the ace of swords is the sword of victory it can mean you're cutting this person out this husband boss father person because it's time for a change let's pull some romance angels see what they have to say romance angels what do you have to say soulmate yes this is your soulmate somebody could be waiting for a divorce here because they met somebody new the wheel's spinning in your favor you got this new beginning you're leaving because you've met your soulmate that's why your four of wands is here very nice angels can we get one more for the zodiac sign of scorpio what are my scorpio friends past life relationship it's funny because as i was flipping that card before i even saw it i thought oh somebody has a soul contract here there's a soul contract here there's a person here that just won't go away because before you even came to this world you signed a contract with them for them to be in your life and even though they lie cheat steal take things from you whatever they do they're not leaving because you have a soulmate and a past life relationship contract with them this could be a family member it's hard to get rid of this this stuff you got a contract with them 
They can go away for five years. You can not speak to them, ignore them, do whatever you want to do, but somehow they always come back because they're part of that contract. That's a whole nother video. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So somebody met somebody new or this person could be coming back from your past, but you're getting to know each other and your bond is deepening. That's what's going to give you the justice that you're looking for so you can be free from this situation that you just don't want to be in anymore. Let's see what kind of advice we can get from the guardian angels. Guardian angels, what advice do you have for... We got a flipper. The two of cups. <laughs> nice. Angels, do you have anything else for the zodiac sign of Scorpio? What do my Scorpio friends need to know about this reading on the table? What advice do you have for them as they go along this journey? Ooh, all right, that flew out. Give me a second here. Okay, we got, let's see what they say. Two of emotion. A relationship grows closer as two people fall in love, or a current relationship grows much stronger. Friendships may deepen into a spiritual connection. Mutual respect and understanding exist or will develop. Don't give up on relationships that feel challenging. There's still hope. Well, that's nice. So, I mean, that tells me that two things could be happening here. We'll see what the other two cards say, but you could be get it, having a new beginning with this person because they let go of this addiction. This is your soulmate. This is your past life relationship. And even though the relationship is challenging to you, you love this person very much. The healer of action. This is a time when you can do whatever you set your mind to if your heart is open. You're being asked to do many things at once. You won't mind as long as you know you're making a difference. This card indicates someone who's loving, intelligent, passionate, and fun, which could definitely describe you. This person can handle difficult situations with grace. That's why this person's out of balance here. She's a person that will just do anything for anyone as long as she knows that she's making a difference in the world. Look at this. Ten of emotion. Life is blessing you with a wonderful, loving family. Great happiness and emotional fulfillment are now on the horizon. Harmony with those you love is assured. By offering forgiveness, understanding, and kindness to others, you're rewarded with unconditional love. So boy, this relationship sure took a turn for the better, didn't it? With this journey card here and this new beginning, I still feel like somebody is going in a new direction with a new love. Because you got change. I mean, two of cups, ten of cups, and the four of wands. Holy moly. What a great turnout. This is definitely, if you did, if you're the Scorpio watching this and you met somebody new, this person is your soulmate. Go for it. <laughs> and let me see if I can get my angel answers here. We're going to close out with angel answers. I'm going to pull three cards, Scorpio, face down on the table. You can start focusing on your question now, but I'd rather you not pick your number. And so all three cards are face down on the table so you can feel the energy. And then you have to go with your gut. Go with your first instinct. You can only pick one number and you can't change your mind. If you change your mind, you're just not going to get the clarity that you need to have your question answered. All right, they're telling me to stop. That's enough. Look at that. They gave me three cards. They're so awesome sometimes, I swear. I love it. Okay, Scorpio. Now you can pick one, two, or three. Go with your gut. Don't change your mind. Number one. Perfect timing. We talked about that. Number two is no. Number three is yes. <laughs> That's funny. So depending on if you pick two or three. 
and I also did get that energy in the reading that somebody's fighting with their self here. No, yes, maybe, yes, no, right, left, up, down. It's perfect timing for you to make this decision. That's how I see that. And have this new beginning and go on this journey. The wheel is spinning in your favor with this soulmate. And look at this four of wands. Holy crap. Somebody waiting for a divorce here so they can go be with this new person. All right, Scorpio, I'm going to leave that there. I really like the way that this turned out. Best wishes to you and your journey. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon.